Let's take a look at your markets now. Kicking things off with the local picture, quite a lot of data to digest here at home. We had the unemployment rate rise in the second quarter and mining production decline in June. Despite this, markets are in the green as US PPI figures came in below expectations. With that, we are seeing the ore share up close to half a percent. That was mainly boosted by the resources 10 complex up 0.66%. Financial 15 up 0.9 percent, and the industrial 25 up 0.1 percent. Over in the US now, equities are in the green, and bond yields went down on the back of inflation data that showed prices for goods and services didn't rise as much as expected in July, suggesting that the Fed will lower interest rates soon, and that boding well for the equity markets as you can see green across the board the nasdaq up 1.7 percent followed by the s p 500 gaining 1.1 percent and the dow just above a half a percent europe now those markets also joining in as the upbeat sentiment filtered through data out from the uk showing that wage growth slowed and the unemployment rate fell to 4.2% from 4.4%. With that, we are seeing the FTSE 100 up 0.23%. The DAX, the biggest gainer on that front, gaining 0.4%. The CAC 40 up 0.29%. Taking a look at your currencies now, starting off with the RAND, the local unit, making gains today despite the local um, downbeat data we saw today. The RAND to the dollar sitting at 18.15, the pound to the RAND sitting at 23.27, and the euro to the RAND at 19.87. Let's look at your other currency pairs. The euro to the dollar at 1.09, the pound to the dollar at 1.28, and the dollar to the yen just above um, 146.